We had our catalytic converter stolen and same for several of our neighbors recently around 4 in the morning in our underground parkade. For one of our neighbors, this was the second time theirs was stolen in the underground parkade. We want to share with you what to expect if this happens to you. Catalytic converter thefts are a worldwide problem. They have become more common and more frequent just within the last few years. These thefts can happen at any time to anyone and anywhere. It can happen twice or more to the same person and is a major inconvenience that can be costly, especially if your vehicle is your lifeline to getting to and from work and other places. Stay tuned on what you can expect when a catalytic converter theft occurs to you. Fracking Creations, a YouTube variety channel that touches different parts of your life. Want more videos on cars? Subscribe to the channel or check out our website. The catalytic converter is also known as the CAT, and we'll be calling it that going forward. CATs are used in combustion engine vehicles to reduce the harmful pollution emitted in the exhaust. They are often located under the vehicle and are easily accessible. They contain small amounts of precious metals like rhodium, platinum, and palladium, which can have a higher price than gold. Thieves are stealing them because they are easy to steal and can make a good profit from selling them to scrapyards, junkyards, and even online. Quick note, this video has timestamps in the video description below or in the time bar. Feel free to skip ahead or go back. Whether or not your cat was stolen, this is the best time to call your auto insurance provider and find out what kind of auto insurance coverage you have. Cat theft is typically covered under the comprehensive coverage part of your auto insurance. See if you're covered for the following. Theft of a cat, tow service to an auto shop to replace the cat, additional damage done to other parts of the vehicle when the theft of the cat occurred, use of a rental car. Ask if you are covered if your cat is stolen a second time. This may sound horrible for it to happen again. However, there are many stories that this has happened two or more times to the same person. Check some of our source info in the video description below for examples. Find out how much you would pay out of pocket, which is known as the deductible, and how much the insurance company would pay. Confirm with your auto insurance company if the cat replacement insurance claim will increase your monthly auto insurance premium. As we asked ours, and this type of claim shouldn't result in an increase in premium. This could help you decide if you want to go through with the claim or pay for the repairs yourself. When you start a vehicle with the cat stolen, the vehicle will initially sound super loud as the engine warms up and the vehicle may vibrate or shake more than usual. Warning, take the time now to adjust your volume on your speakers. The sound inside and outside the vehicle is extremely loud. Here is what the vehicle sounds like inside when you start the engine. It's getting super loud right now. And the car is very shaky. You can feel it. The car is vibrating like crazy. We don't have any check engine lights. Not yet. We don't want to let the car start too long because we don't want that much gas or pollution to be here in the underground parking. Now the car is not vibrating as much. Here is what the vehicle sounds from the outside. Another is when you start to drive your vehicle with the cat cut out, there will be a stronger smell of gasoline and pollution. Having your fan turn on with recirculate turned off will draw it inside the vehicle. Yep, recirculate's on because we don't want to inhale the gasoline and we're going to turn off our blower. If you check underneath your vehicle, the exhaust pipe will be a missing piece of pipe. That was your cat and it will not be hard to miss. Sometimes there will be a pipe dangling from where the cut was made. You may also notice metal shavings or metal pieces underneath your vehicle as well. Safely check underneath your vehicle and confirm that the cat was stolen. Take pictures and videos for your own records. Walk around your vehicle to see from top to bottom if any other damage was done to any other part. Ask neighbors if they have security camera footage or have seen anything suspicious happen to your vehicle including the time and date. Talk to other affected neighbors too to get more information and to start watching out for one another. If you live in an apartment complex, ask your management team if they have security camera footage of the theft and the date and time it occurred. Ask if they had reported the incident to the police and get the file number, badge number, and name of the officer or constable who responded to them. Also get their phone number. When calling the police, call their non-emergency number instead of 911. Report the situation as a non-emergency and theft. 
Give them as much detail and information as you can of the theft. Contact your insurance company to report the theft and find out when you can get your cat replaced. Also ask if they already have an approved list of auto shops that you can go to. Ideally, it would be nice to have the replacement done at an auto shop near you. It may not be legal to drive your vehicle without a cat and in some cases you could get a ticket. If an exhaust pipe is dangling down, it may also not be safe to drive and you can cause more damage to your vehicle. Depending on where your vehicle is located, your auto insurance company or the tow truck company may need to know if your vehicle is drivable. In knowing that, they will determine what type of tow truck to send to you to bring your vehicle to the auto shop. If you have a second spare key for your vehicle, provide it to the tow truck driver. Feel free to put a big keychain on it so that it won't get mixed up with other keys at the auto shop. When you get your vehicle back, ask the auto shop the following questions what they did, what kind of part they used to replace the cat, is it an OEM original or an aftermarket part, is there a warranty for the cat, and what does it cover? For us, we got an aftermarket certified cat replacement part as our vehicle is older. They installed it by welding the cat on with additional piping and replaced one oxygen sensor with a new one. The total cost was 619 Canadian dollars and six cents. Our deductible out-of-pocket cost was $250 Canadian and the insurance paid $396 Canadian and six cents. We want to keep our vehicle at least for another 10 years, so we will be putting some time and money to reducing the chances of the cab being stolen again. Unfortunately, this is a crime of opportunity and is not 100% preventable, but there are ways we can make it harder to be stolen by implementing multiple layers of security. Check out our video on a DIY solution for preventing cat theft. Police recommend painting the cat with high temp, colorful paint and to engrave or etch your license plate number or VIN number along with your province or state that you live in. This is meant to make your cat less appealing to thieves, so find out more in this video. Also, check out our other video for ways you can prevent cat theft on your vehicle. Do this before it happens for the first time or worse, a second time.